Step out, step in. This is a weekly podcast to encourage, motivate, inspire you to step out of your comfort zone, to step in to what you have been designed for and to do. Hello, this is David Joe. Please join me this and every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Step Out, Step In podcast, live on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page, like, and follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn. One more favor share and comment. Hope to see you on Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is David and um, sorry, today is Monday instead of 6 p.m. I shifted it to 7 p.m. Just came in a little bit late. Just arrived from a trip. Um, over the weekend, I just got home and uh, <laughs> right on time. And uh, so thank you. Thank you so much for uh, signing on. I just want you to just share the link with somebody. Uh, this is episode 14 of my Step Out, Step In podcast. And again, um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you for tuning in to episode 14 of my weekly podcast. Can you believe it? 14. <laughs> That's so amazing. You know, every Monday at 6 p.m., with the exception of today, today I had to come on a little bit late because just as I said earlier, I just came back from a trip. Just got home. And, uh, <laughs> and um, so every Monday at 6 p.m., I'll be hosting this live Step Out Step In podcast on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Again, again, again. If you have subscribed to my YouTube page, I say a big thank you. But if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. And um, follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn. And can you also, let me ask this, can you also support my, uh, uh, my podcast by clicking on the link when you look in, in the link below? There's buy me a coffee link, just $5 to support. Um, and uh, we just want to improve this 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 podcast. All right. So again, my name is David Joe. I'm a pastor. I'm a person of faith. I'm an author, a husband, a father to my biological and spiritual children, and I'm your friend. <laughs> Please check out the other or the previous um, episodes on my YouTube page in Buzzsprout. This is episode 14, and in episode 14, I'll be talking about turning adversity into advantage. Turning adversity into advantage. You know, you know as, as a person of faith, I know that God did not give us or any adversity exemption clause, or God did not exempt us from adversity. And let me let me quote this scripture. Uh, let me read out the scripture, Isaiah 43 and verse 2 from the New Living Translation, which says, When you go through deep waters, I will bring, I will be with you. I'm sorry. It says, When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned. 
the flames will not consume you. Think about it. It says, when you go through, now the word when means it's only a matter of time. And it says that going, it says when you go through, it, it never said you go to get stuck in there. It's a process you go through. <laughs> you know, it says when you go through the deep waters, when you go through the rivers of difficulty, when you go through the fire of a person, God has given us his promise that he will, and the word will in there is definite. You know, you can depend on it and it will never fail you. It says, I will be with you. That means that anything you go through, God is in there with you and I. You know, so in other words, adversity is part of the journey of life. You know, and when you look at the, the synonyms of our adversity or adversity, <laughs> depending on um, um, depending on how you want it to sound, <laughs> you know, it, it, it is trouble, difficulty, hardship, distress, disaster, um, suffering, affliction, sorrow, misery, heartbreak, heartache, um, tribulation, pain, trauma, upset, setback, crisis, and many more. You know, at the end of every day, have you really, or do you really sit down to reflect on how you could have done better or how to improve to be better moving forward? You know, one of the things that I've realized with, with most people is that we don't do well when it comes to reflecting on our personal life, most especially when we are faced with adversity. You know, we don't do, we don't do too well on that. You know, and, 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 and there, there's a saying that reflection turns insight into experience. And, and as reflection turns insight into experience, remember that people matter. People matter a lot. You know, always one of the things is God build us into relationships and relationships matter, ladies and gentlemen. So always connect with people. And when you connect with people, they will also connect with you. You know, this, this COVID pandemic season um, really put us in, 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 in that box where now everything, most people think that everything is virtual. <laughs> yeah. But God did not build us to be apart. He built us into relationships. You know. So, always connect. Always connect with people. Now believe, value, and unconditionally, the word here is unconditionally love people. Now, the word unconditional means looking beyond the faults and the shortcomings of people. You know, unconditional love people. That is the kind of love that Christ has for us. <laughs> you know, and again, I want to thank everyone connected on this podcast. And, you know, I was in Atlanta over the weekend and I got some real good um, positive feedbacks. Um, so please help me <laughs> and let's help each other. Uh, right, so let's help each other as we build this podcast. You know, I said I wrote I wrote this book in 2020 during the pandemic season, and the 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 backdrop of this book is to help people step out of their comfort zone into something that God has designed them for. You know, I told you being a, being on camera. It's, it's, it's something that <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's something that I don't really feel comfortable doing. My comfort zone was to be behind, not be behind the camera. <laughs> I never wanted to sit behind the camera, but I realized that I had to break that comfort zone. I had to step out of that place where I'd always felt comfortable and do something that really makes me uncomfortable. 
that can help people. <laughs> so again, thank you so much. Now, let me give you three keys or some keys to turning adversity into an advantage. I said, God never promised any one of us that we will not go through anything. But what do you do or what do you do when you're faced with adversity? How do you turn it into um, something that is supposed to be negative into something that is positive? You know, so number one is develop a positive life stance. Develop a positive life stance. You know, life is filled with good, the bad, and the ugly, <laughs> whether you like it or not. And, you know, some of the good, some of the bad, and the ugly, you cannot control. You have absolutely no control over it. Some of the good and the bad, you will find. Some, they'll choose you. Some, you will choose them. <laughs> but... If you have a positive life stance, the good will be best and the bad will be better. You know. So have this positive life stance where you can always turn the good, the good to best and the bad to better. You know, when you're faced with adversity, there are two options you have. You either uh, make it better or you make it better. Now, when you look at those two words, better and better, the difference is the I and the E. <laughs> you know. And 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 number two, if you if if you have a negative stance, the good and the bad will become worse. You know, anytime you focus on the negative, it gets worse. So be determined and be intentional that you will choose a positive stance. Or you will choose a positive life stance, no matter what. You know, one, one thing about me is I can stand people that are negative. I would distance myself because negative robs on people, it robs on you. It can affect you emotionally, mentally, psychologically. Uh, um, Physically too, yes. <laughs> you know. And, and people who devalue you don't determine your value. Think about that. You know, there are some people, no matter what you do, they will pull you down. They have their PhD uh, um, syndrome, pull him down or pull her down syndrome. They, they never find anything good out of anyone. No matter what you do, they'll try to pull you down. But if they devalue you, they don't determine your value. You know, just, just think about having a $100 bill, all right? Having a $100 bill. The value is still $100. You can crumple it, you can stamp on you can step on it, you can make it dirty. But it never loses the value of the $100 bill. And that is where, and that is how you have to see yourself. Don't allow people to devalue and think that they, have, they determine who or what your value is. You should know what your value is. So know your worth and know your value. You know, dreams, dreams can be birthed in, in the daily grind. So one thing I also want to encourage, don't stop dreaming. Do not stop dreaming. It doesn't matter what your previous dreams um, ha, ha, have done to you or your previous dreams have, have gotten you into. But don't stop dreaming. Keep dreaming. You know, you cannot imprison your greatness. There's greatness sitting on the inside of you. One thing I know is nobody came into this world empty-handed. God loaded you. You know, he custom made you. That is why you're so unique. You're so wonderful. You're so uh, um, talented. You're so... Uh, um, you, you're one of a kind. Anything that is custom made, I said in a previous episode, that anything that is custom made is expensive, number one, and it's one of a kind. So God took his time and he knitted you inside out and made you who you are, that unique individual, that amazing, that wonderful person who you are. 
So, so don't, and you cannot imprison your greatness. You know, there's a lesson which uh, from Nelson Mandela, and in this quote, he says, Our surroundings need not control your spirit. <laughs> you know, when I looked at this quote, in other words, it's trying to tell us that whatever, whatever, whatever happens around you should not have any impact on what lies on the inside of you. There is greatness sitting on the inside of you, ladies and gentlemen, every one of you. You know, and the fact that you face difficult and frustrating challenges doesn't mean that you, you uh, doesn't mean that what is fighting you or what you're fighting for isn't right. Oh, okay. You know, I, I met this great, uh, wonderful man of God in Atlanta, Dr. Uh, um, Sapon. And thank you for tuning in. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, he has a comment on here. Um, he's the pastor of uh, Charismatic Evangelistic Ministries in um, um, uh, Texas. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. And I also have my one and only also tuned in. It says, please share. All right, so Nanaya Jumanjo is telling you, please share. So please, 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 please share. <laughs> you got to obey her. <laughs> All right, so please share. Um, please share. That is what she's saying. So let's share. All right, so... From what Nelson Mandela, you know, his other name was Madiba, was, uh, was telling us is that at some point in our lives, we are all victims of something. But what we get to choose, but you and I get to choose whether or not we will be victimized. You know, there are certain things you cannot, you cannot uh, escape it. You cannot exempt yourself from it. But at the end of the day, do you choose to be victimized by what you are faced with? There was this young boy that one day uh, came to his grandfather, went to his grandfather, filled with so much anger at, at another boy who had done him injustice. So the old grandfather said to his grandson, let me tell you a story. You know, stories are good. <laughs> he says, I too at some at some time, I, I felt a great hate for those that uh, have taken so much with no sorrow for what they do. You know, people can take advantage of you and, I mean, it doesn't bother them one bit, you know. It says, but, but hate wears you down and hate does not hurt your enemy. Listen to that. Hate does not hurt your enemy. Hate is like taking poison and wishing your enemy to die. <laughs> and, and his grandfather told him that I have struggled with these feelings many times. Or a lot of times. You know. And he says, he says it, it is as if there are two wolves inside me. Now this was what the grandfather was telling this, this, his grandson. It says, one wolf is good and does no harm. He lives in harmony with all around him and does not, uh, does not take offense when no offense was intended. And he said, he would only fight when it is right to do so and in the right way. But the other wolf is full of anger. You know, sometimes you meet people and they are so much filled with anger. But he says the, 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 lit, the littlest thing will set him into a fit of temper. So he fights everyone all the time for no reason. You know, and he cannot think because his anger and hate are so great. It is, it is helpless anger because 
his anger will, will change nothing. And he said to his grandson, he said, sometimes, 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 it is hard to live with these two wolves inside you. Because both of the wolves try to dominate your spirit. So the little boy looked intently into his grandfather's eyes and asked, which wolf will win grandfather? And the grandfather gave him that answer. He, I'm not, I'm not sure he was expecting that answer. But his father smiled and said, the one I feed. If you feed your anger, it wins. If you feed your patience, your love, your temperance, that wins. If you feed your faith, your faith wins. So why not feed your faith and starve your fear? You know, and he said that what you focus on, what you focus on magnifies. And, and I mean, I believe we, we all see that in our lives as well. If you feed your fears, you get emotionally stuck. If you feed your faith, you, you get moving. You know, and, and to be honest with you, faith and fear are both uh, products of faith. But one is in the negative and one is in the positive. You know, and, and, and that is what you go through. You know. I will, if, if you feel um, that, that emotions, then it will take action. If you feed those emotions, you, it, it will take action. You know, and recovery time is determined by how long it takes one to take a positive action on negative emotions. Recovery time is determined by how long it takes to turn negative emotions into positive actions, you know. So, from the lessons, um, if, if you have a negative life stance, the good and the bad will become worse. So, feed your faith and starve your fears. And number three, all right, thank you, oh, Russ, Rose Vider, you know, Rose Vider is, um, is my schoolmate from, <laughs> from the primary school. <laughs> you know, there's this uh, WhatsApp. Is it WhatsApp? Yeah. WhatsApp thing has really connected us all, or connected us all back. But, uh, uh, you know, I'm one of the silent <laughs> observers. Thank you, Rose Vida. Say, God bless you, my good friend. Yes, God bless you too. God bless you too. All right, so the third, what is today matters a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, make today count. You know, sometimes we stress ourselves too much. But let today, make today count. Just for today, be intentional that you will choose the right attitude. Just be intentional that you choose the right attitude. You know, you are either preparing for tomorrow or you're repairing the past if you don't make today count. So it would be better to prepare for tomorrow rather than repairing. <laughs> you know, and it is said that um, um, prevention is better than cure, you know. So reflect instead of reacting to adversity. You know, whatever you go through, there's a moment in there that you can reflect. You can reflect on. You know, there's a moment in there that you can always reflect. You see, review and reflect on yourself. And that is one of the things that we don't, we don't do most of the time. <laughs> You know, we, we, we find it hard to reflect on ourselves. It's very easy for, for us to point our fingers to somebody else rather than reflecting on ourselves. You know, ask yourself those questions about what did I learn today that I didn't know? Ask yourself those questions 
And and I, I make it a point, you know, every day or sometimes I make it a point every day to learn something new. Every day. It doesn't matter how small or how big it is. I, it's it's something that I've, I've determined that I want to learn something new. It can be something very small. You know, talk to yourself. The most important person you listen to, the most is you. Direct yourself. Be your own cheerleader. Be your own cheerleader. Take action on the things you reflect about or you reflect on. Ask yourself these questions. Is, is your reflection leading to action? Or is my reflection leading to action? And, and does adversity make you uh, relatable to others? You know, sometimes when people go through adversity, they, they separate themselves. They, they get into this, they put themselves in a box. <laughs> but you have to be relatable to others. You know, success has the tendency to widen the gap. You know that? Adversity closes the gap. You know, so flops, failures, and fumbles will always try to close that gap. And, and when you have adversity, it helps you connect well with people. So that is something that you and I will have to practice or we have to be, be conscious about or we have to focus on. That we will be able to connect instead of disconnecting. You know, and the last but not the least always look for the big picture always look for the big picture you know the small picture is mainly about me <laughs> but if you want to look at the big picture it includes others now when you focus on the small picture which is mainly about you it limits your scope of seeing the bigger picture of including and engaging others. Did I say the last but the but the last but not the least? <laughs> All right, let me let me let me add one more. Adversity makes people stronger, and that is very true. Adversity makes people stronger. You know, adversity, the struggles and the hardships that comes with life, life's journey, make you stronger. It will empower you to get what you want out of life. And I strongly believe that the more you push yourself, the more you grow in experience and confidence. The struggle builds strength. You know, resilience is, 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 is a person. Resilience is... It's a person's ability to bounce back from adversity and grow from the challenge. So tonight, I want to encourage you, step out and step in. Develop your willpower. Be resilient, bounce back, and be a better woman and a better man. You know, and... and if you go back to all the podcasts, I always want to end with this. Now remember, the world needs your unique gifts, talents, and abilities. Please, 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 I'll say it over and over and over again. That don't leave this world with the gifts still unwrapped inside you. The world needs you. That unique gift, that talent, that ability. You know, Dr. Miles Moro once said that the richest place in this world is not the oil fields of Saudi Arabia or the gold mines or the gold fields of South Africa, but it is in the cemetery. This is a place where people with books that were supposed to be written went down the grave and never wrote them. The songs that would have encouraged people, they, they went down the grave and never sang those songs. Businesses that were, were supposed to bless people, they never started a business, opened a business, and they went down to the graves. There's something unique about you. You know, there's something unique about you. 
So again, again, thank you. Thank you so much for listening or for watching this podcast live or the, the, uh, the replay when you um, happen to come across it. And please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page, the Step Out, Step In podcast. Share and comment. You know, um, Nanaya Jumanjo says, please share. <laughs> So it's please share, share, share. All right. So, um, and also you can you can support it by clicking on that buy me a coffee link. Just a five dollar donation will not hurt. <laughs> so let's let's do that. And uh, again, let's connect every Monday at six p.m. as we watch the space. All right. So I'll be right back. Step Out, Step In is a weekly podcast to encourage, motivate, inspire you to step out of your comfort zone, to step in to what you have been designed for and to do. Hello, this is David Joe. Please join me this and every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Step Out, Step In podcast, live on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page, like, and follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn. One more favor share and comment hope to see you on monday at 6 p.m eastern standard time all right so once again thank you all so much for tuning in to my weekly step out step in podcast uh, please comment uh, let me know how it's going and uh, so we can better improve it um, and just before i sign off i want to do this Thank you, Rose Vida, watching all the way from Australia. What is, yeah, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Samuel Asante, for watching. You're also watching from, is it Kansas? That's okay, yes. <laughs> okay, and thank you all so much. Oh, thank you, great man of God. You know, um, this great man of God, Eric, Eric has his programs on Saturday on, on um, Facebook, Facebook Live, and he's interviewing great men and women of, yeah, great men and women of God, right? And, and for the past week, few weeks, he's been in, interviewing the fathers, and um, they are telling us a lot. So please, Saturdays. Uh, tune in. Um, I'll see if I can get a flyer one of these days and just uh, put it on so we can all uh, patronize and uh, um, and support our own. Thank you, great man of God. I think, was it last week or two weeks ago, he interviewed my spiritual father and it was so amazing. I mean, the, 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 the wisdom. And it's on there. Please go back and watch it and, and you will be blessed. <laughs> you will be blessed. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. You will be blessed. All right. So just before I sign off, let me do this, this real quick. Um, let's see. Let's see. All right. So if you want a copy of my book, it's on Amazon. It's a small book. You can uh, read it. Easy read. Um, just for $5.99 on Amazon.com. Step out, step in. And please, um, when you buy one, buy another for a friend, a family member, or even a frenemy. <laughs> you, you never know. <laughs> and um, I also want to personally invite you to um, service um, All Nations Church Virginia every Sunday at 2 p.m. Um, Stafford, Virginia. If you're looking for a Bible-believing, um, family-oriented church. We're looking forward and to seeing you, to meeting you every Sunday at 2 p.m. The address is 1449 Courthouse Road, Stafford, Virginia. For more information, please visit us on the web, www.allnationsva.org. And I also want to 
um, introduce my spiritual father, uh, Dr. Franco Fusopia. He's live, um, live on with uh, on Ambassador of Hope on Tuesdays, every Tuesday at uh, 6 p.m. Every Tuesday, yes, every Tuesday at 6 p.m. On, on YouTube and Facebook. I think YouTube is Ambassador of Hope page and Facebook is Franco Fuzuapia, the official. And these teachings are life-changing, destiny-shaping teachings. It will help you in your ministry, your personal life, your career, your business, your education, and, and many more. So please go on YouTube and subscribe to his page and share. And let's join him every Tuesday at 6 p.m. All right. So again, thank you so much for tuning in to my Step Out, Step In podcast. And um, uh, follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn. And please don't forget to, I don't know how many times <laughs> I've said this, but don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and support by Buy Me a Coffee. Let's connect every Monday at 6 p.m. and watch this pace. Until we meet again, have a wonderful, amazing, fruitful, and a productive week. And again, this is David Joe, and I say goodbye. 